Hi guys and welcome to part 3 of our R2D2 tutorial here in Blender. So by the end of the previous part um, 2 tutorial we'd already began to model in our panel lines and hard edges there. Now you may have noticed um, that you ended up with some uneven geometry there which I've cleaned up with this sharp edges option. So if we jump over into edit mode we'll see some of these edges are marked blue. And those edges which are marked blue are the sharp edges. So to mark up an edge like that, you would just go into Edge Select, select the edge that you want, go to Mesh, and then um, under Edges, you would choose Mark Sharp, and that marks that edge sharp there with a blue marker. You can clear that by going to Edges and Clear Sharp, and it removes that sharp marker. So once you mark the um, main panel line edges um, as sharp, it will clean up that. Um, messy geometry, just make sure that sharp edges is checked in our um, edge split modifier. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is begin to add some color. So these aren't going to be the final textures by any means, but it's going to be some color to help us with our visualization. So as you can see, R2D2 has these blue pieces here on the areas that we just did. And I also want to make the inside of the panel lines a little bit darker so they stand out. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new material. Um, so create new material slot, and then we add a new material. We'll change our diffuse color. I'm going to move this to a darkish gray. And we want to turn on transparency and move the alpha way down. The transparency is important, so when we come to do um, later on some more modeling, and we switch here into material mode, we still want to be able to see through the object to what's behind. So we need to have the transparency turned on. Remember, these aren't going to be the final um, colors and, and textures. This is just some blocks of color to help us with our visualization. So now we've created that material. I'm going to zoom in on our object here. And we're going to want to begin to select the edges uh, sorry, the faces which we have in the bottoms of our panel line. So I'm just going to go along and select these edges here. And what I'm going to do is actually make these edges darker so that they stand out a little bit more. So it's almost like placing a shadow, an artificial shadow, inside of these lines and it will just help them stand out a little bit and later on when we come to do the final texturing we'll be doing a UV unmap of the object painting our texture in Photoshop and then placing it on but for now this is what we're going to be doing just to help us with our visualization. So I selected all those edges there. We select our new material and we go to assign. And if we jump back out into object mode there, you'll see that now we've almost got like the shadow inside of those panel lines. Helps them to stand out a little bit more for us. Now the next thing I want to do is do some blue color. So we need these areas here to be this blue color. So again, we're going to create a new material slot, create a new material. We'll get our blue. It's going to be a darker blue. And again, turn on our transparency and knock the alpha way down. That's done. Come back over into object mode. Now what we're going to need to do is basically again just select the faces of the parts that we wish to be blue. So I'm going to grab my box select tool which will speed things up a little bit. And all we need to do is go along with our box select tool and select the parts 
that we wish to be blue. It's a little bit fiddly because we've got these beveled edges. We just want to make sure that we select all of those. And we don't want to select unnecessary faces either. May have missed some the ends of those beveled edges there. So it can just be a little bit fiddly. But once we have everything selected, you'll see that it gives us a nice way of visualizing how everything's going to look later on when we actually do our real texturing. Okay, I think that's all pretty good. So we select our blue material, we go to assign, come back out into object mode. Now you can see easily the pieces which were missed, so let's come back here into edit mode. Let's go along this edge, box select. And just clean up anything that we missed. Okay, you're almost done. Some of these small beveled edges are just a little bit tricky. The box select, if you're not at just the right angle, doesn't select them. Same you'll find up here with this small edge, small faces. Okay, I think there's just one more here. There. Now we've got our blue texture or blue coloration applied there. I'm just going to go over into time lapse mode while I do the rest. And um, I'll see you in a few moments. So now you can see I've applied the color to those um, parts so they, as you can see now, match up with the colors that we have in our reference image there. Um, I just want to make that blue maybe a little bit darker, maybe a little bright. Um, but that's basically what there is to it. And then if we go to our front view, because of the transparency setting, if we switch over into material mode, You'll see they're still transparent and we can still see through to our reference image behind. If you can't quite see through enough, just knock down the alpha a little bit until you can see through. So what I'm going to do now is continue with creating the panels in the same way that we did in the previous tutorial. Um, so you can actually download this project file from the uh, link at the bottom of this YouTube video. And when you download the project file, it's going to look um, like what you see here now. But at the start of the next tutorial, you're going to see that um, I've added in a bunch more of these panel lines. And those panel lines are being done in exactly the same way as they were done in the previous tutorial. 
So if you're not familiar, um, you can follow along with the previous tutorial and you'll be able to see how to add in these panel lines, make the edges sharp, and um, then you can come back here, download the model that we've already got, and you can start adding in those lines. But um, basically, all we're going to be doing is in edit mode, we're going to be looking at the reference image, we're going to be looking at these panels, and we're going to want to draw a double line, extrude it inwards a little bit to give ourselves a panel line, then we bevel the edges and mark them as sharp. And that's what you're going to need to do for all of these panels here until you have something that looks like this, where all these various panels are marked out. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next tutorial where we can begin adding in some of the more detailed areas that go inside of these various panels on R2-D2's body.